this is Michael West Tahoe, Apple's biggest release ever. It brings a major UI redesign, plenty of bug fixes, new features, and better performance. I have installed macOS Tahoe on my M4 MacBook Air, so let's go over the things you should do after installing macOS Tahoe. Let's get started. Liquid Glass is a new design style in macOS that gives the interface a transparent glass-like look across Apple devices. Now, user interface elements such as tab bars, buttons, sliders, and menus have a soft, glossy appearance. They reflect and respond to whatever is behind them in real time, making the entire experience feel amazing and more natural. These elements also react smoothly to your actions with fluid animations and transitions that move like liquid. Even the dock, apps, widgets on the home screen and the new control center follow this new design language. Now this update brings new lock screen customization options you now have more control over how the screensaver behaves. For example, you can set to appear automatically when the system is inactive. Now just define an inactivity time limit and the screensaver will show up. You can also choose any wallpaper from the collection to use as your screensaver background. In addition, Tahoe lets you customize the clock on the lock screen. Now simply select the clock appearance. There you can enable a large clock to display on both the screensaver and the lock screen. You can pick from different styles and adjust the font size to your liking. With the new liquid glass effect, the clock now looks stunning and more immersive than ever. Spotlight Search and Launchpad have now redesigned to give you a faster and smarter way to browse. You can now quickly find apps, files, clipboard history, and even get suggestions based on what you do regularly. Now press Command plus Spacebar to open Spotlight. It now has four tabs. You can switch between them using the number keys. Now press Command plus 1 to see all your apps. Command plus 2 to search only files. Command plus 3 to run quick actions like sending a message, starting a timer, or creating a note. Then Command plus 4 to view your clipboard history. Now think of Spotlight as your all-in-one command center, so no more jumping between dog, launchpad, and different apps. The launchpad icon in the dog still shows all your installed apps, but with iPhone with a ring, you can even launch apps that are only installed on your iPhone. One of the most useful features in macOS Tahoe is App Actions. You can do things like create calendar events, send emails, or start recording directly from Spotlight without ever opening the application. Now my favorite feature is parameter filling. For example, you can send an email by choosing send email, then just type your message, set the recipient and subject, all without launching the mail application. And with clipboard history, you can view everything you have copied recently, making it super handy for multitasking. Now this update lets you customize the look of your system. Just go to Settings, Appearance, and choose a theme color. This color applies to the control center, tinted icons, and widgets when set to automatic.
Even folder icons change to match the system accent color, which looks very impressive. You can also set the text highlight color to anything you like. So whenever you highlight text, it shows up in your chosen color. Now my top feature of macOS Tahoe is the ability to style your icons. There are two new icon packs, dark and clear. The dark option gives each app icon a darker background, which looks great at night times. The clear option removes the background color completely, giving the icons a clean, colorless look that feels modern and stylish. Now this update lets you customize your folders by adding icons for enhanced personalization. Now just right click on a folder and choose customize. Now from there you can add a color tag and choose an icon that suits with your style. It's an easy way to make your folder unique and well organized. The new control center in macOS Tahoe has been completely redesigned with the liquid glass look. It feels very smooth and natural when using the sliders and buttons. You can also customize the control center just like on your iPhone. Now simply click edit controls and you will see a panel. There, you can easily add or remove toggles. Now this makes it the most flexible and useful control center on Mac since macOS Big Sur. Also, the menu bar has been updated. It's now transparent, making your display feel larger and more open. In settings, you can change how the menu bar looks. Now simply turn on the background option if you prefer a solid style. Now just like with the control center, you can add your favorite shortcuts to the menu bar for quick access or create your own personalized control center right at the top of the screen. macOS Tahoe makes it simple to tile windows with just a few clicks. You can add tiling presets to the menu bar for quick access. For example, if you add the two tile mode option, you can instantly arrange two apps side by side in your workspace with one click. The same works for other layouts. Just choose the preset you want and your windows will snap into the place very neatly. The continuity is what lets Apple devices work together and now it's even better. With macOS Tahoe, live activities now appear on your Mac. So if you order food on your iPhone, you will see a live update in your Mac's menu bar. You can click on it and it opens the app using iPhone metering, letting you take action directly from your Mac. Another big addition is the phone app on Mac. You can now view your synced contacts and make or receive calls right from your Mac.
incoming calls show up with contact posters just like on iOS 26. The Mac version of the phone app also includes features like hold assist, call screening, live translation, caller ID, a keypad, and much more. Apple Intelligence in Tahoe is now smarter and built into many default applications. Let's start with Photos. You can now remove distractions from the background of any photo. So just open a photo, click Edit, then choose Clean Up. Now simply highlight what you want to remove, and Apple Intelligence will erase it seamlessly. Next up, in Messages, you can create a personalized emoji called a Genmoji. Just click the emoji icon, then click the plus button, type a description and press enter. To adjust the expression, simply pick from the suggested options. You can also set a custom chat background for each conversation. Simply select a contact, choose background, and pick from the suggested designs or use Apple Intelligence to generate a brand new background image. Now that said, the image playground has also improved. You can turn your ideas into images by typing a description or choosing from suggestions. It now works with ChatGPT, letting you generate images directly from text prompts. And with new writing tools powered by Apple Intelligence, you can enhance your text anywhere. For example, in Notes, just select your text, click the Writing Tools control, and instantly rewrite or polish it for better clarity and readability. The journal app is now available on Mac, which gives the most comfortable writing experience. It makes it very easy to capture and write everyday moments and special events using photos, videos, audio recordings, locations, and much more. Also, the new games app brings all your games together in one place. With the built-in game overlay, you can adjust system settings, chat with friends, or invite them to play without ever leaving the game. And for developers, Metal 4 brings even more advanced games and rendering features like metal effects, frame interpolation, and denoising for smoother and more realistic visuals. And that's pretty much it. These are the things you should do after installing macOS Tahoe. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. This is been KSK Ryo. I will see you in the next one.